when we elected the first black president of the United States of, of America, our dear brother, Barack Obama, it was at that point that Paul Vallis decided to switch parties and become a Republican. He doesn't have an answer. He couldn't answer the questions. In terms of our dress code. And then there were two sparring from both mayoral candidates in the race for Chicago's mayor. Tonight was the first forum since Brandon Johnson and Paul Vallis garnered the majority of votes, putting them in a runoff. It lasted for an hour and started with controversy and questions for both candidates on if they have extremist views on the far left and the far right. I'm more of a Republican than Democrat. Though. That interview was in 2009. In the first what? forum in the runoff, Paul Vallis was questioned on if he's a Republican or Democrat. I've always registered in the Democratic primary, so my history has always been that of a Democrat. Brandon Johnson was questioned about saying it was a, quote, political goal, end quote, to defund the police. The effort of the defund police movement lost an audience because of, of that, um, that, slogan, I guess is what, what he's calling it, which which I don't look at it as a slogan. It's, it's, actually, it's an actual real political goal. For Chicagoans, the top priority is getting a grip on crime. This is Johnson's rebuttal to that video. It's why in my public safety plan, we're going to promote train and hire 200 more detectives so that we can actually solve crime in the city of Chicago. You know, it's going to cost me roughly $50 million to make sure that we are actually administering the consent decree. After the forum, both candidates taking jabs at one another. Johnson slamming Vallis for his 2021 comments against teaching critical race theory. Vallis has since said he advocates for teaching African American history year round. This book was highlighting and lifting up the fact that Blackness in the city of Chicago has value. Paul Vallis banned that book. Vallis was asked why he didn't give a response to Johnson when he was accused of being associated with right-wing extremists. I didn't want to turn it into a free-for-all. Plus, you know, you know, this is this is what Johnson's going to do. He doesn't want to run in his record or lack of record.